Introduction Human civilization owes a lot to the knowledge and application of metals and minerals for they provide the basis of machinery on which modern manufacturing depends. The earth's crust is made up of rocks and minerals. We use metals and minerals for various purposes in our daily life. In this chapter, we shall learn about these in more detail. Minerals A mineral is a chemical compound or element that occurs naturally. These are the building blocks of the earth as they constitute all the rocks found on our planet. A mineral has great economic value. That is why it is regarded as a natural resource. It is extracted because of its high value and utility. There are several thousand types of known minerals with dozens being discovered every year. Examples of common minerals are mica, iron, copper, limestone, gold, silver, feldspar, etc. Minerals are found everywhere but are not evenly distributed. They are formed under different physical and chemical conditions such as varying temperature and pressure. Their formation is closely linked to the rock type and its geologic process. Rocks from which one or more minerals are extracted are called ores. Example, iron ore. Minerals have distinctive properties such as color, hardness, crystalline structure, luster and specific gravity. You have learned about rocks in the earlier classes. A rock is made up of minerals. Most rocks are made of a combination of several minerals in various proportions. For example, granite, igneous rock consists of feldspar, quads, mica and amphibole. A few rocks might just have one mineral. For example, limestone, sedimentary rock has one extract. Metallic minerals are usually found in igneous and metamorphic rocks. On the basis of their composition, minerals are classified into metallic and non-metallic minerals. Metallic minerals Metallic minerals are minerals that contain one or more metallic elements. They occur in rare, naturally formed concentrations known as mineral deposits. These deposits can consist of a variety of metallic minerals containing valuable metals such as nickel, copper, zinc, lead and gold. We use some of these in our daily life. Metallic minerals are chemically processed to extract the useful metals contained therein. Metals such as nickel, copper and zinc are important since they are used for numerous purposes. Non-metallic minerals. These minerals have no metal content. These include graphite, gypsum, talc, limestone, mica, gemstones, etc. Usually these are found in sedimentary rocks. Coal, oil and natural gas are also non-metallic minerals, often referred to as mineral fuels. Non-metallic minerals. Mica. Muscovite light color and biotite black are the most abundant varieties of mica. The two striking features of mica are its thin sheet structure and luster shine. Muscovite mica is usually found in metamorphic rocks while biotite mica is found in both igneous and metamorphic rocks. Mica is widely used in heating instruments, electric condensers and in optical instruments because of its flexibility, elasticity, low thermal and electrical conductivity. Ground mica is also used as a filter or lubricant. India is the leading producer of muscovite mica followed by Brazil. Other producers are the US, Tanzania, Zimbabwe and Argentina. High quality mica is found in Jharkhand, Bihar, Andhra Pradesh and Rajasthan. Limestone Limestone is a common building material especially in North America and Europe because it is readily available, relatively easy to cut and can withstand almost all weather. It is also used for blackboard chalk construction both in interior and exterior. Flooring in industries such as paper, plastics, steel, paint, glass, etc.
for water treatment and road construction. Limestone is a sedimentary rock. It is composed of calcite. Major reserves of limestone are found in the US, Canada, Vietnam, Denmark and France. Salt Salt is an important mineral and the only one that humans consume. Halide is sodium chloride, the same mineral that is used as table salt. Pure halide is colorless. It is soft and breaks into cubes. The meat packing, fish curing and food processing industries use salt as preservative or seasoning or both. The chemical industry uses salt for the production of chemicals. It is also used for making soap, glaze and porcelain enamel. Rock salt or halides occur widely in rocks of all geologic periods. Salt is produced in most countries. However, the largest producer of salt is the US, followed by China, Germany, India and Canada. In India, rock salt is found in Himachal Pradesh. Sea salt is obtained in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh, while brines are found in Rajasthan. India is well endowed with numerous metallic and non-metallic resources. In addition to the resources mentioned above, India has four mineral fuels, 52 major non-metallic resources, 11 major metallic resources and 22 minor minerals. India is also the world's third largest producer of chromite. Mining The extraction of minerals is known as mining. Mining has helped many industries and encouraged several activities that use minerals and power resources. Mining accounts for about 2% of the gainfully employed people in the world. There are three main types of mining depending on where and how a deposit is located. It is cheaper to mine a substance when it is on the earth's surface or close to it. Many minerals are found deep inside the earth. Some might be under the sea, rivers and lakes. Again, minerals may occur as a compact mass or might be widely scattered. Therefore, we have different processes to deal with different minerals, open cast mining, placer mining and underground mining. Open cast mining Open cast mining is practiced when extensive deposits lie near the land surface. For example, coal or iron ore. It involves the scooping and striping of the mineral bearing rock with the help of huge excavators and power shovels. Placer mining. Placer mining is the use of water to extract the heavy mineral from alluvial or placer deposits. Examples are the gold bearing sands and gravel that settle from rapidly moving streams and rivers at points where the current slows down. Underground mining. The deepest form of mining is underground mining. It is also known as shaft mining. A shaft or a tunnel is dug underground to reach the mineral deposits that occur at great depth. Elevator or lifts are installed to carry the mineral deposits to the surface. Drilling is another type of underground mining which is used to extract oil or natural gas from deep within the earth. Drilling is done in many ways depending on the size of the opening, the type of rock, etc. Mining and Environment Mining has severely impacted the environment. Large agricultural lands have been destroyed. Natural vegetation has been wiped out from large areas. These areas often flood due to lack of proper drainage. In hilly areas, mining often leads to landslides that kill people and animals and destroy property. Miners also work under dangerous conditions in many mines. For example, poisonous gas may be emitted from the mines. Every year, hundreds of miners die in mine fires and sudden flooding. Mining activities lead to air and water pollution. Many times it also leads to the displacement of people. Be a researcher. Find out about the world's largest mines and life of people who live in places lying close to them. Open cast mining. Open cast mining is practiced when extensive deposits lie near the land surface. For example, coal or iron ore. 
It involves the scooping and striping of the mineral bearing rock with the help of huge excavators and power shovels. Non-renewable sources, petroleum. Petroleum, chiefly comprising methane, also referred to as black gold or liquid gold, is the most important source of energy in the world at present. Major factors that account for its significance are as follows. It provides fuel for heating and lightning and generates thermal power. It is used as a lubricant for machinery. It provides raw material for a number of industries, example, petrochemicals, synthetic fibers, fertilizers, etc. It has a wide range of domestic uses, example, cooking, heating, etc. It provides motive power for vehicles. Petroleum and natural gas are usually formed together from the remains of animals. These accumulate, decompose and remain trapped in rocks. Petrol is an important fossil fuel and a complex mix of hydrocarbons that occur in liquid petroleum, gas, natural gas and solid bitumen forms. Both petroleum and natural gas come from the same organisms and are generally found in sedimentary rocks. Often petroleum is referred to as crude oil. It is distributed through a network of pipelines. Petroleum provides a large number of energy products such as petrol, diesel, kerosene and aviation fuel. It is also used for lubricants, chemicals and paraffin oil. Asphalt and paraffin are obtained from the residue. The principal petroleum producing countries in the world are in the Persian Gulf region. Saudi Arabia is the leader, followed by countries like Iran, Iraq, United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, Qatar and Bahrain. Some other countries that are important producers are Russia, the US, China, Indonesia, Egypt, Libya, Myanmar and Brazil. India has large reserves of petroleum but these are not enough to meet the demands of the country's huge population. You will find petroleum fields in eastern Assam, in Gujarat and offshore in the Arabian Sea, Bombay High. These three areas account for nearly the entire oil output in India. Other places include Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Arunachal Pradesh. Placer mining. Placer mining is the use of water to extract the heavy mineral from alluvial or placer deposits. Examples are the gold-bearing sands and gravel that settle from rapidly moving streams and rivers at points where the current slows down. Coal. This fossil fuel is found in layers of varying thickness in beds of sedimentary rocks. Its distribution is highly uneven in many parts of the world. It is solid and black or brown in color. Coal is widely used to generate thermal electricity. Different climatic conditions, types of vegetation and the time factor cause the formation of different kinds of coal. Peat, lignite, bituminous and anthracite are the four main types of coal. Peat is the first stage of coal formation. It is brownish with a high percentage of moisture and low carbon content of 45% to 60%. Its low heating capacity allows it to be used only as a domestic fuel. Lignite or brown coal is the second stage of coal formation. It also has a high moisture content and much volatile matter. It is used in generating electricity and for the manufacture of gas, plastics and nylon. Bituminous coal is higher in carbon content 40% to 80% and is the main type of mined coal. With little moisture content, this coal is important for steel making and in generating thermal power for household and industrial purposes. Anthracite is hard black coal with very high carbon content, 90 to 95 percent, and no volatile matter. It burns slowly with more heat and little or no smoke. Therefore, its chief use is for central heating in buildings and steam generation in ships and boilers. The biggest reserves of coal are found in the US, Russia, South Africa, Australia, Germany, UK, China and India. 
India is the world's largest producer of lignite. There are about 500 mines, both surface and deep pit types. Most of it is found in the Chota Nagpur Plateau, which is the main source of coking coal. The most important coal-producing regions are located in the valleys of rivers such as Damodar, Bihar and West Bengal, Son, Madhya Pradesh, Mahanadi, Odisha, Godavari, Andhra Pradesh, and Vardha, Maharashtra. These regions account for 98% of the country's total coal reserves. The Jharia and Raniganj coal fields are the two largest coal fields in Bihar and West Bengal, respectively. Other areas include Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, Kashmir and Sikkim. The coal found in India is not of very high quality. Therefore, coking coal is imported from other countries. Lignite reserves are not so widespread. You will find lignite in Tamil Nadu, bulk of it, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Puducherry and Jammu and Kashmir. Underground mining The deepest form of mining is underground mining. It is also known as shaft mining. A shaft or a tunnel is dug underground to reach the mineral deposits that occur at great depth. Elevator or lifts are installed to carry the mineral deposits to the surface. Drilling is another type of underground mining which is used to extract oil or natural gas from deep within the earth. Drilling is done in many ways depending on the size of the opening, the type of rock, etc. Mining and Environment Mining has severely impacted the environment. Large agricultural lands have been destroyed. Natural vegetation has been wiped out from large areas. These areas often flood due to lack of proper drainage. In hilly areas, mining often leads to landslides that kill people and animals and destroy property. Miners also work under dangerous conditions in many mines. For example, poisonous gas may be emitted from the mines. Every year, hundreds of miners die in mine fires and sudden flooding. Mining activities lead to air and water pollution. Many times it also leads to the displacement of people. Natural gas. About 20% of the world's consumption of energy is met by natural gas. It is colorless, highly inflammable, hydrocarbon and a type of petroleum that occurs in association with crude oil. Natural gas did not have much importance till the oil shortages started in the 1960s and 1970s. Some of the world's largest gas fields are found in Russia. The other major producers of natural gas are the US, Canada, Algeria, Iran, Norway, UK and Indonesia. Natural gas is cleaner than other fossil fuels. It emits less carbon dioxide than oil or coal. When burned, it is commonly used in homes for cooking, heating as well as in clothes dryers. In India, most of the gas production comes from the offshore area in the west. Assam, Andhra Pradesh and Gujarat are the major producers of natural gas. Smaller quantities are also found in Tripura, Tamil Nadu and Rajasthan. Natural gas accounts for 8% of the total power generated. Metallic minerals, iron ore. Iron ore occur in all types of rocks and in various kinds of environments. Common types of iron ores include hematite, red, magnetite, black, nemonite, brown, and siderite, pale brown. Raw iron is combined with other elements to form an alloy. The strengthened and hardened steel is then used for construction and manufacture of cars, trucks, trains, and train tracks. China, Brazil, Australia, Russia and Ukraine are the five biggest producers of iron ore in the world. India, the US, Canada and Kazakhstan are the other major producers. Together, these nine countries account for 80% of the world's iron ore production. In India, major deposits of iron ore are found in Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Bihar, Karnataka and Goa. 
India is the world's fourth largest producer of iron ore and the 11th largest producer of crude steel. Most of the iron is used to make steel. Copper. It is usually found in large deposits closer to the surface of the earth. Its abundance, low cost and excellent conductivity makes copper a valuable commodity. It is used in electric cables, wires, switches and for plumbing. Chile is the world's largest producer of copper, followed by the US. Other major producers are Indonesia, Peru, Australia, Russia, China, Canada, Poland and Kazakhstan. In India, copper is found in Jharkhand, Bihar and Rajasthan. Bauxite. It is a sedimentary rock and the principal ore of aluminium. Bauxite varies physically according to its geologic origin. So some deposits are soft and easily crushable while others are hot and dense. Its color may be white, yellow, gray or red. Bauxite is mostly used in manufacturing aluminium, cement, blast furnaces, iron and steel ladles, soda cans, aluminium products etc. Bauxite is found in most countries but the leading producers are Australia, Brazil, China, Guinea, Russia, India and Jamaica. India is the world's sixth largest producer of bauxite and the tenth largest producer of aluminium. Bauxite is found in Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Tamil Nadu. Manganese a pinkish-grey metal, manganese is used as an alloy for making steel and combined with aluminium to make pop cans. Compounds of manganese are used in paints and varnishes, glass making, dry cell batteries and fertilizers. Over 80% of the world's manganese is found in South Africa and Ukraine. Other countries with major deposits are China, Australia, India and Mexico. India is the sixth largest producer of manganese ore. It is found in Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha and Rajasthan. Gold This mineral has been known to humans since ancient times. It is a precious metal and is used for jewellery, art items, electronic goods, dentistry etc. In its natural form, gold always has some silver in it and often copper or iron traces. South Africa is the world's largest producer of gold and is believed to have about half of the world's gold reserves. The US and Brazil also have large reserves of gold. Distribution of minerals Minerals are not evenly distributed throughout the world. This is because of the different rock types and their structures, which occur due to different geologic processes. Some minerals are found in abundance in certain places, while some could be rare. Power resources Mineral fuels, especially fossil fuels, are mainly used across the world to provide most of the energy to run machines for communication and industrial purposes. Due to increasing population and industrialization, the demand for energy is also increasing rapidly. Energy or power resources might be renewable or non-renewable. Mineral fuels are non-renewable. The three fossil fuels, petroleum, coal and natural gas account for 80% of the global energy use, while about 5% is provided by uranium, another major mineral fuel, nuclear source. The remaining 15% is provided by renewable sources such as hydropower, wind and solar energy. Newer sources such as biofuels and biomass are also renewable. Geothermal power Hot springs, geysers and volcanic gases are trapped to generate electricity. This power obtained by using heat from the Earth's interior is called geothermal power or geothermal energy. Ancient Romans used hot springs to heat their baths and homes. Even today, such use is found in Iceland, Turkey and Japan. Hot water and steam reservoirs under the surface of the earth at temperatures of more than 180 degrees Celsius are generally used by existing geothermal plants. The leading users of this power are 
चाइना दूएस आइसलैंड टर्की न्यूजीलैंड जॉर्जिया रशिया एंड जापान नियरली 19% परसेंट ऑफ आइसलैंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज जनरेटेड फ्रॉम जियोथर्मल सोर्सेज India has many small hot springs that can be used effectively to tap geothermal power. Presently, Manikaran, Himachal Pradesh, Kambe, Gujarat, Bakreswar, Tantloi, West Bengal and Bihar, Godavari Valley, Andhra Pradesh and Barren Island, Andaman Islands have geothermal stations. Tidal power You have watched the waves breaking on the shores. Have you marveled at the energy of the waves? This energy is tapped to create tidal power, another renewable resource. There are several ways that this energy can be harnessed. High and low tides are utilized by building a dam to block the water at low tide and then releasing the water through a turbine that generates electricity during high tide. Ocean currents are also used to drive underwater turbines to generate electricity along coasts and islands. As yet, there are very few places that generate sustainable power. Presently, there are only two commercial scale tidal power sites in the world, La Rennes Estuary in France and the Bay of Fundy in Canada. India's first tidal power project is coming up at Durga Duwani Creek in the Sundarbans area of West Bengal. There is lot of potential with three excellent potential sites, Gulf of Kambe and Gulf of Kutch in the west, the Ganga Delta and the eastern coast. Biofuels, any fuel that is derived from biomass, a plant material or animal waste is known as biofuel. Due to the shortage of fossil fuel and the high cost of production and processing, the emphasis has shifted to find renewable and alternative power sources. Biofuel is made from renewable resources. As a matter of fact, for the fuel to be considered a biofuel, it must contain over 80% of renewable materials. It can be liquid, solid or in gaseous form. Biogas is produced by the breakdown of organic matter in the absence of oxygen. Biogas is clean and easily controlled source of renewable energy like solar, wind energy from organic waste materials. It can be produced from regionally available raw materials and recycled waste and is environmentally friendly. Biodegradable materials like manure, sewage, municipal waste, green waste, plant material and crops are used for producing biogas the gas is useful as a fuel substitute for firewood dung agricultural residues petrol diesel and electricity depending on the nature of the task and local supply conditions conservation of minerals mineral resources help to attain economic growth The demand for mineral resources has been growing at a rapid rate since the industrial revolution around 1760. But minerals are non-renewable resources. These can never be replaced. While the demand is increasing, the supply is decreasing. Excessive exploitation might lead to total depletion. Therefore, humans are constantly exploring new sources. The environment is also greatly impacted by mining activities. You must be wondering about what you can do to help. As individuals, we could reduce our needs, reuse products and buy products and recycle waste. This may require making certain changes to your lifestyle, looking for alternative sources that are renewable for our needs would be a good beginning. However, misuse of renewable resources could also lead to depletion and ruin. Renewable Hydropower Hydroelectric power is produced from generators that are driven by water turbines. These power plants are usually located in dams that restrict or control the flow of rivers. Falling water enters the turbine and the moving blades power the generator to produce electricity. Out of the three major sources of energy, water is the most important. It is used to generate electric power. The other major sources of energy are fossil fuels and nuclear fuels. 
Hydel, hydroelectric power accounts for 24% of the world's electricity. In some countries like Norway and the Democratic Republic of Congo, it accounts for 99% of the country's electricity, while in Brazil, it produces 91% of electricity. Canada is the world's largest producer of hydel power, followed closely by the US. The other major hydel power producing countries include Russia, Brazil, China and Norway. Hydel power has the advantage of being a renewable energy resource that is also a non-polluting power generating resource. Solar power Sunlight is the largest source of non-polluting renewable energy received on Earth. Solar energy can be directly converted into electricity by solar cells, photovoltaic cells. Of course, a single cell can only produce 2 watts, but many connected cells can produce thousands of kilowatts of electric power. However, this involves large investments and hence not a very popular energy producing option. Solar energy is mostly used for low powered items such as watches, calculators, cookers, water pumps, lanterns and water heaters. Though solar energy is free, the high costs of collection, conversion and storage restrict its use. India receives a lot of sunlight, so there is a huge potential for solar power. Presently, solar power is replacing the 5 million diesel pumps in India. A solar power project has been proposed for the Thar Desert. Wind power. Since ancient times, wind power has been used to grind grains and pump water. It has become important now due to the shortage of fossil fuels, the high costs of petroleum and also because of the pollution caused by fossil fuels. Wind is a renewable energy and is also free. The use of winds for electricity generation has been increasing rapidly and it is estimated that wind power would eventually replace all fossils and nuclear fuels. In Denmark, 20% of the electricity is generated from wind source. The other leading countries are Germany, Spain, the US, India, Italy and the Netherlands. In India, wind power accounts for about 8% of the total installed power capacity of the country. It ranks 5th in world wind power capacity. Wind accounts for 1.6% of the country's total electricity production or consumption. Tamil Nadu has the largest number of windmills followed by Gujarat. Nuclear power Nuclear technology uses a fuel called uranium. A relatively common material. Energy is released from uranium when an atom is split by a neutron. The uranium atom is split into two and as this happens, energy is released in the form of radiation and heat. This nuclear reaction is called the fission process. This particular source of energy production has numerous advantages and disadvantages. Advantages the amount of electricity produced in a nuclear power station is equal to that produced by a fossil fuel. They do not burn fossil fuels to produce electricity and hence they do not produce damaging, polluting gases. It is also believed that this type of power is eco-friendly and clean. Disadvantages Nuclear power is a controversial method of producing electricity. Many people and environmental organizations are very concerned about the radioactive fuel it needs. Radioactive waste remains radioactive, dangerous for thousands of years and is currently stored in places such as deep caves and mines which is both costly and extremely dangerous. Many people living near the nuclear power stations or waste storage depots are concerned about nuclear accidents and radioactive leaks which are damaging to health both in short and long time spans. There are more than 440 nuclear power plants across the world that account for 17% of the world's electricity in 30 countries. In France, 78% of electricity is generated by nuclear power. 
while Lithuania has about 80% of its electricity from nuclear source. The leading producers of nuclear electricity are Lithuania, France, Slovakia, Belgium and Sweden. In India, uranium is mined in Jharkhand and the nuclear power plants are located in Tarapur, Maharashtra, Kalapakkam, Tamil Nadu, Rawat Bhatta, Rajasthan, Narora, Uttar Pradesh, Kakrapar, Gujarat and Kaiga, Karnataka.